Let's take a look at a simulation using Fathom for the problem from the fourth edition of the practice of statistics. There are 15 male pilots and 10 female pilots that have been trained. Eight of them are selected at random for available job openings. When eight are chosen, there are five female and three male pilots. Is it possible this could happen by chance? After all, there are more male pilots than female pilots. Shouldn't we expect to see more male pilots than female in our sample? Maybe, maybe not. The question is how likely is this result? Well, over here we have a collection and we can see the letter M for male is there 15 times and the letter F for female is there 10 times in our collection of pilots. Let's take a sample. Now we don't want to take a sample of 10. We only want to take a sample of 8. And once we've chosen a pilot, we don't want to put them back into the, the group and possibly choose them again. So let's sample some more cases here. But we really can't see what's going on. So let's take a look at a table of the cases. So here we can see we have three females. Let's do this again. Now only two. Another two. Three. Oh, there's only one. So let's take a look here. Uh, we want to actually count how many females. We don't want to have to count this by hand. We actually want to collect a measure. So let's call this measure number female. And the formula will be to count when the gender is equal to F. Let's apply that. And notice it says one there, and that's good because we only had one female. So we say we want that. All right, let's try this again. Sample more cases. Now we have three females, and if I look over here, I can see that the value for the count of the number of females is three. Now we actually want to collect these measures, so let's actually collect some measures. And we have uh, five measures collected. Um, let's take a look at a histogram of that. Let me move this out of the way here. Let's take a look at the, the histogram, or, or a dot plot maybe, um, associated with these measures. So we had two females, one female, two females, four, and so on. Kind of hard to see what's going on with only five trials of this simulation. So let's collect some more measures. Let's collect 45. So we have a total of, of 50 here. Okay, and we can see five happened here four times out of the 50, or 8% of the time. Let's collect another 50 measures. Oh wow, here we even had one time where seven occurred. So the number five, five females happened, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 11 times out of 100 or 11 percent of the time. So it's not all that unusual in a sample of eight chosen from 15 male pilots and 10 female pilots to have five or more female pilots. And that concludes this demo for the Practice of Statistics 4th Edition, Chapter 1, Airline Discrimination.